This video will discuss what a protective relay is and its function in an electrical power system. What we're looking at here is a protective relay manufactured by General Electric, model 121AC53. It's what's called an overcurrent relay, specifically a time overcurrent relay. And we're going to see how these are used in electrical power systems. If we take a look at a very simple diagram for a three-phase power system, we have our three-phase conductors going to a generator, a source of some sort. We have a three-phase circuit breaker, and these lines go out to deliver electrical power to a load. This could be power lines in a neighborhood, it could be feeder lines in a factory, or some other uh, conductors conducting power to a load. The circuit breaker is not like the circuit breaker in your home. It's not a thermally operated device. It actually has to be told to trip by a trip coil. If we energize the solenoid trip coil here, what happens is it unlatches a mechanism and spring tension will open the breaker contacts and interrupt current to the circuit. So in order for this breaker to break the circuit automatically and to protect it from overcurrent conditions or any other dangerous conditions, we have to have some other device, some external device, send a trip signal to the breaker. In this case, we refer to these devices as protective relays. The job of the protective relay is to sense dangerous conditions in the power system and then to command the circuit breaker to trip to keep things safe. So looking at the larger diagram here, what I have sketched over here is called a current transformer. A current transformer is a device that is monitoring the current through one of the phase wires that's stepping that current down to a lower level. Typically these current transformers are rated in terms of a ratio with 5 amps on the secondary. So if you had a current transformer that was 100 to 5, it would mean that 100 amps through the line was 5 amps in the secondary circuit. This step down lower current comes over to our protective relay, where in this case, with the old style GE relay, that lower current is going to be driving an electromagnet coil. And that electromagnet coil moves the mechanism inside and it's going to close this contact if the current becomes excessive. Then that contact closes, sends 125 volt DC power to the trip coil on the circuit breaker, causing the circuit breaker to trip and to interrupt power in the three phase system. What I have shown here is a protective relay system that's only monitoring current on one of the phase wires. Typically we'd have three of these monitoring current on all three phase wires and sometimes monitoring the zero sequence current on all three summed together. But I'm just showing you this one protective relay for simplicity monitoring current on one of the phase wires, and if that current becomes excessive, the relay closes the contact, sending trip power to the breaker to tell the breaker to open and to interrupt the three-phase power to the power lines. In subsequent videos, we'll discuss how these protective relays work, uh, their mechanism, with their, how they function inside, and then we'll do some tests on a bench and see how it responds to simple stimulus.